Hey everyone, mine's here. So, I wanted to follow up on a video that I did about a week and a half ago. It was the five tools for industry and hauling. And I got a lot of really good feedback on Reddit uh, for, for this particular post of, of me asking, you know, what, what tools do, you know, do you use on a daily basis for your hauling needs and industry needs? Got a lot of got a lot of really good feedback and a couple of applications that I have not used before. Actually, a couple that I had not heard of before. Uh, one of them that perked my interest was Eve Isk per hour. Um, now I'm I'm, I'm going to show you this application. I'm also going to leave a, a link in the description for you to to click on, go to, go and check it out, download it. Um, but I went out on YouTube looking for uh, some videos just on on how to get up and running and, and set up with it. I, again, it, it's, it's one of these applications that, you know, when you actually bring it up for the first time, there's so much information in front of you, uh, so much information at your fingertips that's not set up yet um, that you have to, that it, it can, again, oftentimes seem overwhelming. Uh, so I thought I would take uh, a couple moments to kind of, walk you guys through really fast on how to set this up um, so let, let's go ahead and take a look at this here so this is eve isk per hour this is a standalone application that you download and install doesn't take very long uh, but what you want to do first of course is to set up your character okay so file and add characters I'm not going to go through this process. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward for a lot of people. The instructions for this are actually very, very clear. So, um, yeah, I mean, if w once you click on, on log into Eve, you'll log in. It'll bring you back to uh, another uh, pop-up for the application. And it literally walks you step-by-step step on how to set up the, uh, uh, the application on the CCP website. And, you know, it, it'll generate uh, some permissions for the application, for your character, or for your account, uh, pulling a secret key, and you'll, you'll plug all of this stuff into the application. And once that's all done, it, it'll pull all of your skills, pretty much uh, everything, not, well, not everything, but uh, items such as... Um, you know your your reprocessing skills and, and and whatnot, all of the useful information. So after all of that is done, you've got your character loaded. This is not the screen that you want to be on. You want to go to update prices. Now I've obviously I've already got my application set up, but what you would see would be this. Okay, nothing, no check marks, no nothing, uh, no groups uh, here that have been pulled in. Basically, you want to start from left to right, okay? That, that's pretty much going to be uh, what you're going to be doing for every tab. You're going you're gonna to work basically uh, from the upper left down to the right and back up. Uh, I, I, it's kind of how I've come to see it. So this is blank. So you're going to come down here to raw materials. You, you can pick and choose what materials what materials you want to load. So if you want just minerals, that's going to be your Isogen, your Mexilon, your Noxium, Zydrine, etc. You can also do ice products, isotopes, ozone, and whatnot. Now, I typically do raw materials, all of them, uh, because I want to make sure I cover every material that I have for all of my blueprints. And, you know, possibly if I'm also looking for uh, some new blueprints, which I'll, I'll show you how to, uh, how to do that here in a minute. Uh, for the most part, let's do minerals. Um, yeah, let's just do minerals. Uh, it'll, it'll be a little bit easier. And manufactured items. Now, manufactured items, for the most part, what I've taken from this is, if you see over here, Tech 1, 2, 3, Storyline, Navy, and Pirate Factions, these are going to be already built uh, items that you need in order to continue your manufacturing for that particular blueprint. So obviously for something like Tech 2, you need the Tech 1 version and so on for Tech 3. And, you know, especially, you know, like Navy Faction and whatnot, you need the T1 version in order to make the Navy Faction. So 
Uh, I will typically just click this for ships, charges, modules. Uh, we don't want to do subsystems, structures, modules, rigs, deployables, um, boosters or celestials, components. We don't need these. I'm not doing capital. No hybrid tech. I'm not doing implants. And yeah, we'll leave those. All right. So we've got all of the stuff on the left side. Now we want to do the right side. So this is where we are going to pull our prices from. Now you have regions and you have trade hubs. You can only choose one. Uh, so in my case, I, I do all of, I do everything in domain. So I, if I want to pull all of domains prices, I can do that. Or if I just want to pull one of the trade hubs, I can choose Mar and I can pull the prices just for a MAR. So that's typically what I do, is just choose a, choose a MAR. Now this bottom part, uh, from what I've seen so far, the modifiers, you can actually add, um, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna download these prices now. Uh, sometimes it can take a, more than just a moment. Okay, there it took just a couple of seconds. Uh, earlier it took uh, about 30 seconds or more it might have just been a request uh, latency issue, but uh, not not really an issue though. Raw price modifier uh, and a manufacturing price modifier. So t take for instance, if you know you want to charge, or somebody wants to charge you like five or ten percent for hauling a bunch of materials. It's just an example. You can actually get an idea of what um, of of what that'll of that what that'll be. So you can actually add ten percent to all of these prices so you already know what you're gonna pay in total alright so once you've got all of this then you wanna come over to manufacturing list um, again what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna really start from the left and make your way to the right alright so this is gonna this is gonna remain empty until we actually hit calculate here now I'm only gonna do my blueprints uh, I actually like doing all blueprints, especially, this is really good, especially if you're looking for blueprints that you don't already have, and you want to see if there's something else out there that you can buy and actually, you know, make profitable over time. Uh, but for this, I'm only going to do my blueprints. Uh, I'm not going to do T2 or T3s, uh, no pirates, navy, or any of that. Uh, blueprint race, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I'm not going to do any structures, deployables, components, dun, 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 subsystems, boasters. All right. Um, we're not going to be filtering anything. So that's like once you get all of this uh, up here, you can actually filter your items by uh, the different uh, categories, fuel blocks, frigates, so on. Now the Now this box up here, this one is going to be where you are going to manufacture your goods. Um, you can choose if it's going to be a station, like an NPC station. You know, it'll it'll take into configuration the taxes for it, uh, given your skills and, and whatnot as well. So in my case, I do domain, and then since uh, actually no, I want not a pause. I want a structure and domain. I'm going to go to our shot, and then. I go to Rotaru. Okay. And then it's going to put all of these in here based on my configurations. You can also uh, upgrade it with the fittings if you have uh, different rigs and whatnot. And then, so down here, this, this box down here, the market filters. After I'm done with my manufacturing, I want to be able to check the prices. Okay. So... What this is going to do, it's going to take, it's going to go out to, you know, say right now it's going to go out to the forge, uh, probably Jita, and actually pull that price, and it's going to put it, uh, yeah, it, it's going to give, it's going to cross-reference what the lowest selling price is in Jita, and compare it to, well, not compare it, but, you know, do the the math for you based on what it will actually cost to make make the uh, make the item all right 
So you can choose pretty much any any region. Uh, again, I'm going to do domain. Uh, I want I want seven days average. You can actually you can change this as well. 15, 30, 90. Uh, you can modify the build time, max build time, if you, you know, want to, you know, you want, you only want, you don't want an orca and you don't want to wait 30 days, well, the orca is not going to show up. Uh, you can also, you know, do the runs, blueprints, uh, how many, you know, production lines and stuff, include taxes and fees, yep, okay, so... Once you have all of this set up, go ahead and hit calculate, and it will go through all of your blueprints, and it will tell you which ones are profitable. Alright, so right here it shows, and in, in domain, I can build a Dominix for 130 million cost and profit 9.7 million. Now, this doesn't actually give you your selling price. What you have to do is actually add the total cost to the uh, profit, or vice versa, whatever you want to do. What you can also do is double-click this, and it will take you back to this first tab. And it will kind of break uh, more of this down, how much of uh, what items that you need in order to make this. You can also change the total amount of runs and it will be reflected over everything so since I own my own pause or not, I own my own structure my, my own Rotaru uh, the only tax that I actually pay is the uh, system index cost of 2.10% uh, so not bad uh, but yep, it will uh, tell me what my profit is and you know what the input cost is so market price is right here. So this this is what I was talking about. It will your market price is basically these two uh, pieces added together. All right. So uh, let's see what else did I want to show you. Uh, let's see mining. Oh, actually no. Before I go to mining, what you can do right here. This is this is awesome. I I really like this. You can right click this. And not only view the market history, which is also really good. Uh, actually, let's look at that real fast. So, yeah, we can see what... Uh, let's see, last seven days... What these are actually selling for within uh, domain. So... Uh, but you can also add this to the shopping list. The shopping list can be found under view... Shopping list. Guess what? Look, it, it adds all of this stuff up for you. All right, so let, let's go ahead and add another one. I want to build a Corax. Okay. Shopping list. Guess what? It adds both these items here, and then it just tallies up how much of each material that you need. Absolutely amazing. I love this. I hate doing my own math on how much material I freaking need. Um, that is probably the most annoying thing that that seriously it takes me the longest to do uh, it also give you a total cost of all of the materials uh, the the volume which is also very handy because then it also lets me know if I need to actually take a freighter to grab all of this stuff um, and then it actually gives me my profit really 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 handy L absolutely love the shopping list um, you now I just want to throw all of these in the cart you know just just Take them all home with me and build them all at once. Um, that's how much I love this this application. So the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, mining. Now I I literally just kind of discovered this this morning. Um, I didn't I never thought I was actually going to use it, but since it since the application pulls all of your skills in, it gives it brings you all of your reprocessing and uh, you know all of your fleet skills uh, and mining ship skills and stuff. So, what I love about this is, so, I, I mostly use a Coveter uh, instead of a, a really big, expensive Hulk on, on this particular character. I, I don't have it. Uh, so, brings in, so I have uh, uh, Mining Barge, skill 4, Coveter, if I can change this to Modulated Strip Miners 2, I have uh, T2 upgrades, and I use T2 Crystals. 
So, I don't have any mining skills, uh, any, any mining implants on this. I really do need to get them. And if we go over here, again, this is like a, a most, of the, most of the time this application works from left to right is kind of how I've got it. Uh, if you want to include ore, it is in high cyclosec null sec, or only high yield ores. Um, since I'm in domain, where my, where my uh, structure is, is in high sec. It's really close. I'm going to stick to high sec. Uh, the ore location, I'm just going to check off these. Since I'm in Amar space, I only want to pull ore that's available in Amar. Uh, let's see, don't need any of this. I'm not, not doing a boost. Um, this, is, this is also something that's really cool. I'm going to show you this here in a second. Uh, I don't... So yeah, right here. So am I using a hauler or not? So I do use a hauler. So I'm going to show you what... So it's going to show you... If we hit calculate here, uh, Veldspar, I can mine about 2.6 million isk worth of Veldspar. Actually, it's going to show me, it's going to tell me this is the most valuable ore for me to uh, mine. Now, this is refined. So I'm going to mine all of it and then I'm going to refine it based on my skills 6.9, 6, 69.5% yield. Um, and then going back to this processing types, we can, I wonder if it'll give me, nope. Okay. So we, we do have to, uh, select one of these. We're either refining it. If you don't want to refine it, do compressed and it will tell you 15.4. So still Veldspar is, uh, the best or for me to mine, uh, compressed actually be for anybody, um, at the moment. So based on the prices that you imported. Now, where this changes per hour is if you're using a hauler or if you're making a run back and forth to your station. So a round trip, what's that, what's that round trip cost you? A minute? Right, so, you know, 30 seconds there, 30 seconds back, and you're only hauling about, you know, two and a half cycles worth of uh, ore, or three cycles worth of ore. And that changes, you know, by quite, quite, quite drastically, uh, in my opinion, uh, if, whether or not you're using a hauler. And then if you wanted, you could use a fleet booster, uh, select a ship, just Orca, uh, five, foreman, actually that should be five, these, uh, it's a foreman, and then you can double click, you can click these again for T2 uh, modules. Go ahead and take a look at that. Look at that. 20 mil, 20.7, 20, 20.8 million isk per hour of Veldspar if you're compressing it and selling it. So this this tab actually made just made me quite a bit of money. It gives me cycle time and laser range, include broker fees and taxes. Oh, actually, absolutely awesome. I, I love this. Uh, th this app has seriously been, uh, it, it has risen to like the top of my list of, of apps that I use on a daily basis. Uh, the only other one that I use uh, on a daily basis uh, right now is uh, Everness, and that's for that's to kind of monitor my uh, market orders for day trading. So other than that, guys, that is really all I wanted to show you. Um, again, I didn't see too many videos out here that were uh, really up to date uh, within like the last two years uh, for Eve isk per hour. I know there's probably a ton more that you can do this app. Uh, you know, let me, let me know how you guys actually use this. If you use it at all, or if it's new to you, uh, welcome to Eve isk per hour, because this application, I don't know where you've been all my life, but, uh, you're here now and you're, you're making me more money than, uh, than I was making before. So thank you so much to whoever made this. Uh, I really should find out, uh, actually I'll find out and I'll, I'll, I'll leave their, uh, their name uh, down in the description. Thank you. Kudos to you for making this and uh, making me more isk. So uh, let let me know. Let me know down in the comments uh, below. You know what are you guys using? Uh, are you guys using Eve isk per hour? Uh, and how's it working out for you guys? Uh, so that's all. That's all I really got for you guys today. And um, I will see you guys next time. Later.